some of the best advice that I can give you, man, is when you out there on the road, do not spend your whole 10 hours down sleep. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. Not all advice is good advice. In this clip right here, we're going to look at this young man responding to this comment. And it says he's looking for advice because he's a hard runner. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Some of the best advice that I can give you, man, is when you out there on the road, do not spend your whole 10 hours down sleep. Only sleep for like six or seven hours. Then get up. Do your pre-trip, refuel your truck. You know what I'm saying? Go take a shower, eat, work out, do whatever you need to do to get your day started. Then go holler at your dispatch man and see what's up with some loads. Some other good advice that I can give you. Don't drive more than eight and a half to nine hours in a day. Because you limited on your time. You got a 70 hour work week. You know what I'm saying? So, you only want to spend eight, eight and a half hours, you know what I'm saying, on your drive time in a day. You don't want to drive no more, you know what I'm saying, than that. Because if you do, you know what I'm saying, you're going to run out of time, you know what I'm saying, within the seven day work week. Then you're going to have to take a 34 to reset. So let me just uh, piggyback off of what this young man say. Not to say that his, his advice is, is not bad. It's pretty good advice, you know. I mean, that's the same advice people would tell you, especially if you was to run OTR. Only drive eight hours a day so that you will have some recaps at the end of your week at your 70-hour clock. Because if you run out your, your full 11-hour clock, you're not going to have no recaps. Now, some companies want you to run recaps. They don't mind, especially if you're over the road driver. If you're one of those drivers that stay out, that likes staying out, that likes running hard, that just like keep running, 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 and you don't want to do a 34, then you might end up at one of those companies that will run you as such. But again, like I say, you 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 can't take everybody's advice. And again, it's not to say that this guy's advice is not a good advice. His advice is only good for him. It might not work for you. And here's why. He probably worked for a company that he was able to do that. You might work for a company that you're not able to do that. You probably might work for a company that that wants you to drive your entire drive clock. There are companies out there that have that have policies in place. Oh, I mean, HOS policies in place that says, hey, I want you to run your 11 hours. And you want to know something? The 11. I said this before. That 11 hours is not yours. It's the company's. And if they feel that they want you to run to eight hours and you got three hours left, they're going to inspect you to run according to HOS legalities. So his advice of just, hey, just run eight hours a day eight and a half hours a day might not work in a company where you at or a company where you might be going to. So again, like I said, it's not about, it's not about his advice is bad or anything like that because that same advice that he's telling everybody across the spectrum says that. <laughs> If you want to run hard and continue to run hard, try to limit the amount of time that you run on your clock 
in a day. But you can only do that with a particular company. It don't go across the spectrum. His other advice is, yo, don't sleep. Don't, don't, don't rest the full 10 hours. Now that I'm, I'm going to agree to disagree with that one. Because when you drive a whole 11 hour shift, eight hour shift, eight and a half hour shift, nine hour shift, you're going to be tired. You, you're going to be tired. You're going to want to hit that bunk and get your rest. Five hours, six hours ain't going to work. Eight hours you're going to actually need to get a good night rest. But of course, you're not going to be able to get all of that because you're going to be parked in truck stops where trucks are running all night you might end up being part next to a reefer unit that's running all night is it's going to be noise throughout the night which is going to be hard for you to sleep the hard for you to get your rest five hours ain't gonna do it five hours again may work for this young man five six hours as he said Yo, don't sleep the entire 10 hours, bruh. When you get a chance to get some rest, you, you're going you're gonna to take as long as you need to get that rest. That rest is important. You know why? Because when you driving and you start feeling fatigued because you didn't get enough rest, that's when bad things happen. Now, again, like I said before, I'm not, I'm, I'm not dis, you know, I'm not disclusion what this young man says about advice. Because you guys know my feelings about TikTok drivers. But again, like I said, that that works for this young man. Whatever company he worked for, he's able to just drive eight hours a day. And he's and he's able to get some rest six hours or something like that. Maybe he's maybe he's not at a truck stop. Maybe he's maybe he's home every night. We don't know. So if he's home every night, he's in his comfortable bed and maybe he can go to sleep early. And then only sleep six hours, seven hours, and then get up, get ready to go to work, get his day started, get ready to drive. Again, like I say, he might not be in the truck stops where trucks is running all night, being next to a reefer unit all night, being being in the truck stops that that's 24 hours that never closes all night, people talking all night things going on all night people knocking on your door by mistake all night so you're not going to get your rest but your rest is important again drivers let me know what you think do you guys think his advice is good do you think he's giving good advice because a lot of a, a lot of drivers <laughs> a lot of people I'm sorry. A lot of people that's interested in coming into trucking because just like this guy asking him a question, his advice maybe is good, but it's not for everybody though. Drivers, let me know what you think in the comments below. My radio, believe me, I like it loud. I'm the man with the rocks that can rock the crowd. Walking down the street to the hardcore beat while my JDC vibrates the car.